I, of course, have never felt that way. I know exactly what it feels like to have extremely cool friends. Lots of them. But since you're so very intimidated by me, perhaps we shouldn't battle. But of course, we should still hang out, er, engage with each other. We just wouldn't call it a battle. We call it something else instead. Say, for example, a date. Worry not, human. I have taken the liberty of perusing a dating guidebook from the Snowden Library. By happenstance, of course, as I have in no way planned any of this. Do you, small human, agree to go on a date with I, the Great Papyrus? Excellent, yet unsurprising. Like it? Oh no, you're meeting all my expectations. You're knocking them dead, bro. Figuratively, of course. Sands don't embarrass me. Wouldn't dare. Let's accept this offer of a fine Italian dish. This is no ordinary pasta. It's a one of a kind masterpiece. Cardboard aged pasta, fresh picked from the shelf. Boiled in water, that used to be snow in my backyard. Words alone fall short of describing the taste. You lick the sauce from the plate so none will go to waste. As your soul is strong and you're up on your vaccinations You love it? I knew it! You're meeting all my expectations of honesty There are some things a human would find interesting What kind of things? I'm always honest The Great Papyrus is an open book Every night when I tuck you in I have to make engine noises Of course, Sans! Because my bed is shaped like a race car, what else would it be shaped like? When we get to the surface, I'm going to drive a real one. I know, bro. What about all your action figures? Strategic battle simulators. Who got you them? Santa, Sans. Yeah, but who had an in to deliver your letters to him? You did, brother. Glad to be of service. Imagine the look on all their faces When the two of us walk side by side The great papyrus is friends in such high places They have to dive down a deep dark pit Just to ensure our paths collide Two people extremely cool in their own way for 80% of each day Reciting in jokes that only we can comprehend Um Is it hot in here or what? Small human I think that we should talk How best to put this really deep I'm afraid that I could never hope to match the red hot 
intensity of your love for me. Fear not, human friend. The great papyrus knows just how to extinguish this social faux pas. We can just act like this never took place, and you. What do you say, friend? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Now we can return to simply being the best of friends. I, the great papyrus, grant you permission to pass. Continue on to the capital, then pass right through the barrier. Normally that's impossible, it's what keeps us down here, nothing can exit. But friend, you have a strong soul, and I've heard that's what it takes. That's why the king wants a human soul, but honestly I wouldn't worry about him. He's such a fluffy pushover, you probably just have to say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, I sure would like to return home. And he'd lead you to the barrier himself. In the meantime, I've packed you a bag lunch of my underground famous pasta. Just in case on your journey you need to put some luck and pluck in your step. Underground famous? For now. When it's finally unveiled to the surface, it'll be known and loved by all from here to Manchester. England? No, New Hampshire. What's in New Hampshire? Oh, I've also taken the liberty of adding my number to your phone. Uh, don't ask how. Feel free to call any time. Platonically, of course. <laughs> I, of course, have never felt that way. I know exactly what it feels like to have extremely cool friends. But lots of them. But since you're so very intimidated by me, perhaps we shouldn't battle. But of course, we should still hang out, er, engage with each other. We just wouldn't call it a battle. We call it something else instead. Say, for example, a date. Uh, worry not, human. I have taken the liberty of perusing a dating guidebook from the Snowden Library. By happenstance, of course, as I have in no way planned any of this. Do you, small human, agree to go on a date with I, the Great Papyrus? Excellent, yet unsurprising. First order of business is to be myself. And be completely honest about how I feel. I feel strangely like suplexing a boulder and making extra sure that you see it happen. Second order of business, ensure you're properly dressed to make a good impression when entertaining a guest. My battle body probably does the job in these situations. Wait, you like it? Oh no, you're meeting all my expectations. You're knocking them dead, bro. Figuratively, of course. Sands don't embarrass me. Wouldn't dare. Please accept this offer of a fine Italian dish. This is Ordinary pasta, it's a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. Cardboard-aged pasta, fresh picked from the shelf. Boiled in water that used to be snow in my backyard. Words alone fall short of describing the taste. You'll lick the sauce from the plate so none will go to waste. As long as your soul is strong and you're up on your vaccinations. You love it? I knew it. You're meeting all my expectations of honesty. There are some things a human would find interesting. What kind of thing? I'm always honest. The Great Papyrus is an open book. Every night when I tuck you in, I have to make engine noise. Of course, Sans. Be 
Because my bed is shaped like a race car What else would it be shaped like? When we get to the surface, I'm going to drive a real one I know, bro What about all your action figures? Strategic battle simulator Who got you then? Santa Sands Yeah, but who had an end to deliver your letter to him? to be of service. Imagine the look on all their faces When the two of us walk side by side Great papyrus is friends in such high places They have to dive down a deep dark pit Just to ensure our paths collide Extremely cool in their own way Come on to form an ultimate friend High-fiving for 80% of each day Reciting in jokes that only we can comprehend Um... Is it hot in here or what? A small human. I think that we should talk. How best to put this? Human, I know that the feelings you have for me run deeper than something on the surface that's really deep. I'm afraid. That I could never hope to match The red hot intensity of your love for me Fear not human friend The great papyrus knows just how to extinguish This social faux pas We can just act like this never took place And you won't have friend you have What do you say, friend? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Now we can return to simply being the best of friends. I'm a great papyrus. Grant you permission to pass. Continue on to the capital. Right through the barriers Normally that's impossible It's what keeps us down here Nothing can exit But friend, you have a strong soul And I've heard that's what it takes That's why the king wants a human soul But honestly, I wouldn't worry about him He's such a fluffy pushover You probably just have to say Mr. Dreamer, I sure would like to return home. And he'd lead you to the barrier himself. In the meantime, I've packed you a bagged lunch of my underground famous pasta. Just in case on your journey you need to put some luck and pluck in your step. Underground famous? For now. When it's finally unveiled to the surface, it'll be known and loved by all from here to Manchester. England? No, New Hampshire. What's in New Hampshire? Oh, I've also taken the liberty of adding my number to your phone. I don't ask how. Feel free to call any time. Platonically, of course. <laughs>